If you're a fan of the Tailfin Aero Pack and looking for a more secure and compressed storage solution when packing things inside it, this video is just for you. Let's do it. Before we dive into it, I just want to take a quick moment to let everybody know that this video is supported in part by 1UP USA. 1UP combines superior materials and craftsmanship with a keen understanding for what you need to get your bike and gear to your next adventure. Whether you're an enthusiast, weekend warrior, or pro cyclist, the result is simple, durable, no hassle racks and accessories that you can trust will last for the long haul. No matter what you ride, your bike deserves 1UP USA. So to learn a little bit more about their made in the USA range of bike racks and accessories, click on the card in the top right corner or also follow the link in the description below. All right, so I've been using the Tailfin Aero Pack on and off for the last two years. And well, it's a great storage solution because it works on nearly any bike. It's secure and you can also fit a lot of gear in it. So I'll typically pack uh, my shelter, which is usually a one person tent or so, my sleeping bag and a sleeping pad in the aero pack, and if necessary, some extra food from time to time. But I'd say the problem with this system is packing it with its big open trunk style bag. So instead of filling the pack with those loose items, I found that using random stuff sacks to compress and pack my items enabled me to compress the aero pack a little bit better. Not only so it looks good, uh, but also to have more clearance so I can compress my dropper post all the way down. While using my makeshift stuff sacks is nice, it certainly was not the perfect solution. So in Tailfin fashion, they developed these packing cubes to perfectly fit inside their aero pack or the AP20 trunk. There are three versions, the 2.5, 3.5, and 6.5 liter volumes, which are either sold in a three pack or separately. The 6.5 and the 3.5 version are tapered to fit the front of the aero pack or the AP20. And the 2.5 liter is more of an actual cube shape. And all three actually come in at 151 grams and are made of a rip stop fabric. Each cube has a wide opening uh, at the top to easily install your belongings, but comes with extra long and oversized spring locks and cords to loosen or tighten down the main compartment. All three bags basically have a top and a bottom. The bottom is made out of a more durable material with a DWR finish, so you can set it on the ground after unpacking without any worries. However, these are certainly not uh, watertight containers as they are not seam sealed and, well, Look, you've got a huge opening on the top of each bag. Each bag does have different features. The 6.5 liter has a main compartment zipper to access items without actually having to take the whole cube out. The 3.5 liter version has a mesh outer pocket to hold smaller items and the 2.5 liter version is a big cube with five internal mesh pockets for smaller items inside. And after looking at the press release photos, it appears that they use the 2.5 liter version to be almost like a kitchen organizer, so to speak. Finally, all three cubes are lighter in color for better contrast against that black aero pack or AP20 trunk. All right, so I just got these not too long ago, so I actually have not been able to use these on an actual overnight trip yet. And I have only been playing around with them for a few days. So these opinions are primarily based on a first look experience, but I do have some initial thoughts here. So if you plan on packing all three of these, in the aero pack, you will have a huge and tall load. I typically never use the aero pack to max capacity, which is 20 liters, but I was able to fit my sling fin portal one person tent with fly and my Thermarest 20 degree Vesper down quilt inside this 6.5 liter cube. I also packed my Tyvek ground cloth and sleeping pad on top of that inside the aero pack. So all said, it packs down really well and the 6.5 liter bag fits inside the aero pack like a glove. It's certainly a much better system than my makeshift stuff sacks as it perfectly tapers to fit the complete footprint and space of the aero pack. That being said, I really would be hesitant. It would have to be a very unique situation where I would pack all three 
bags in there as it would certainly add a lot of height and look a little goofy. But based on the max capacity, in theory, you could fit all three in there. The other option would be to use that 2.5 liter and the uh, 3.5 liter bags in tandem, which would allow you to separate and kind of sort particular items out back there. Using the bags themselves is pretty straightforward and the oversized cinch cords and locks are really easy to use. And the loops on either side of the packing cubes here are designed to help open and close the system. So the stuff sacks were built with bike packing in mind. So they are pretty light, but they also have a nice kind of robust feel to them. And while the added features of each cube may seem maybe a little over engineered, some folks might use the extra pocket or the zipper on the packing cubes or the small cube as a nice organizer for kitchen supplies while you cook. I can definitely see myself doing that. So while you could likely get away with some other stuff sacks like I did, the packing cubes offer more of a secure and compressed load to make for a tidier system that maximizes the space inside your aero pack. And for folks that really are looking for extra space, this definitely will come in handy. If I were to recommend getting one of these, I would certainly recommend getting this one, the 6.5 liter. But if you like to separate things in different compartments, well, it might be worth getting the set or at least that 2.5 and 3.5 liter options. The Tailfin Packing Cube 3 pack comes in at 109 USD, or if you wanna buy them separately, you can purchase the 2.5 liter for 38 USD, the 3.5 liter for 35 USD, and that 6.5 liter for 50 USD. They are certainly some expensive stuff sacks, but they also have some pretty cool features as well. But what do you all think? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And if you like what you saw in this video and wanna see more like it, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you wanna help support us a little bit more, you can do that by signing up for the Bike Packing Collective. The Bike Packing Collective offers a lot of perks, including industry discounts, monthly giveaways, and the twice yearly Bike Packing Journal. So to learn a little bit more about the Bike Packing Collective, you can click on the card in the top right corner or also follow the link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, pedal further.